It's just a drag. You know what it is. Yeah. Woodstock free vibes on me. Music is my lonely. I've been up since I don't know where I am. Trying to create a vibe. Trying to get these hours in. Punching the clock, I get it. Gotta go hard with it. Honey, honey, I'ma start with it. Coach looking for starters. Hop in the game, I'm like hardy. The next day I went to this library slash bookstore, it was so cute and I was supposed to meet up with some other YouTubers so that we could talk a bit and film a video. I think by now the video would have already been on, it was an ed talk and so it was a really nice experience and it was really cool to see everyone being vulnerable and open. <laughs> Good morning, I just woke up with the worst headache ever. But then I'm, I was thinking, I'm like, why do I feel this way? It's because last night I literally ate a chocolate bar <laughs> and then I passed out. After I left the library, the bookstore, I came straight back to school and I just... I think I, I edited a video and I, post, and I uploaded it on my other channel and it was basically a voicemail so if you haven't heard that voicemail <laughs> then you should go and check it out because um, it's especially for people who aren't really who haven't been really feeling that well lately so go and check it out the weather is so nice today like it's super sunny but then at the same time it's cold <laughs> And also, <laughs> I can hear my wind chimes. Uh, throughout the months, I was showing little like clips of them building up <laughs> some buildings at the west side of my school. I can show you how far they are right now. You see those um, white buildings? Well, they're actually kind of cream those weren't there a year ago <laughs> and they're almost as tall as this building here where we have lab classes anyway i'm gonna see if i can get ready to go um go swimming because if i wait <laughs> if i wait any longer i'm gonna probably change my mind i've been skipping swim days <laughs> Because like swimming takes a lot out of me and I love it so much but then I always feel so tired after. But I'm gonna tough it out and see if I can try again today because I don't really want to I don't really want to I don't really want to keep up this habit because 
I know that one day can turn into two and two can turn into three really easily when you start something like I don't really have a plastic head cap <laughs> so mine is like cloth so it's gonna get wet anyway and I hate that <laughs> but it is what it is I guess let me just pack a change of clothes and then I'll be on my way I'm usually the only one here anyway, so it's like really quiet. <laughs> so I always like feel guilty to come here and make up a bunch of noise, but I don't know about anybody else, but I tend to get nervous when a lot of people are around. So like, even when I was thinking about finding this place, I was like, gee, I just really wanted to find somewhere where that wasn't crowded all the time. So it's like, the other places that I went to were super crowded and I just wanted to feel comfortable, you know, like, <laughs> that one bag of people, even though, you know, like, people aren't really watching you, but then I just kind of feel like somebody watching me. I kind of got comfortable sitting right here. <laughs> I missed it to kind of. I'm not kind of getting cold now, so I need to. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> think I need to change. I'm gonna ask them if they're gonna be open <laughs> tomorrow. Because I'm not really feeling today <laughs> and I don't even have a camera stand oh it's so dark I don't have a camera stand so I might have to use my phone to record okay I was thinking that I could probably film in here it's like it's a really big area I think it could work and I can also like close the door because I'm, I'm going to speak a bit loudly and it's like a, a library slash bookstore so I like the little decorations that they have. <laughs> I was just here eating a mooncake. I think this is the first time I've ever had a mooncake. If you're wondering what is a mooncake, it looks like this is what it looks like. You're yeah, being. This is what they tend to eat for the mid autumn festival. So my friend brought back some from home. And with it, I was just drinking some red tea that I got from my auntie <laughs> when i went there with my friend um last week yeah she gave us some packs of tea so this is the one that this is what i got and she says that i could use it three times and she was there teaching us like 
the temperatures and like how long to steep it for and in our culture jamaican culture we don't really watch that in a way like we just we use any temperature really like we just boil water and make tea but for them they're really specific about how long you leave the tea leaves in there like temperature of the water all that and she was showing us how it would make a difference like she was saying the longer that you leave it the, the tea leaves in the boiling water or if it's like a temperature that's not suited for it then it will be bitter i personally like red tea over green tea but i also like drinking jasmine tea she had this one um also um the middle of the mooncake has something i'm not sure what it is but um i guess i'll just have to ask <laughs> Google says traditional mooncakes have red lotus paste, white lotus paste, or red bean paste. I'm not sure. I think the one that I just ate probably had red bean paste. I like red bean. <laughs> I like red beans in my bread. <laughs> this tastes sweet. A lot of people hate it, but I like it. So I think that's what was in it. And in Chinese culture, roundness symbolizes completeness and togetherness. A full moon symbolizes prosperity and reunion for the whole family. That's why they tend to come together on the Mid-Autumn Festival. They eat food, some people worship the moon. Or at least I think in ancient times I did that. So yeah. I want to go to a pet store. I usually go to the fish market, but it's not the same as like a pet store or a cat cafe. Um, cat cafes are a bit expensive, but I remember passing a, a, a pet store across the road from the mixed place. I'm going to go check that out right now. It's called Yeon Pet. Yeon, Yeon Pet. the cutest cat cafe it's like so big I've never really explored this side I'm always on the other side of the road so I'm just trying to find like new places that could come back to and probably bring my friends and there's this person approaching me Hey. <laughs>